More than 35 years after The Empire Strikes Back was released, there's something about the Star Wars sequel that still doesn't sit right with Mark Hamill. At the beginning of the 1980 blockbuster, Mark Hamill's iconic character, Luke Skywalker, is captured by a massive snow beast called a Wampa on the icy planet of Hoth. To get away, Skywalker uses his lightsaber to slice off one of the creature's arms, but that apparently wasn't what Hamill signed up for. Hamill revealed on Twitter he was originally under the impression that Luke wouldn't actually hurt the Wampa. When filming the scene, I was assured my lightsaber swipe toward camera, the creature was not on set, would simply singe its fur to scare him off. Horrified to later see amputation and unnecessary cruelty, Wampa was hungry, not evil. Luke would never do this. The comments echo statements Hamill has made about the scene in the past on a show Mark Hamill's pop culture quest. And I remember saying, well, I'm just grazing his fur, right? They said, what do you mean? I said, well, it's like a hungry bear. He's not evil. Yeah. Right. So I should just scare him off. Not only did I cut off his arm, but they do an insert of it falling, falling. in slow motion. <laughs> like it's just, I, I never thought that was right. The topic came up when a fan shared a photo of a cake made to look like a severed Wampa arm for National Cake Day. But Hamill, an outspoken animal lover, said he's still angry about the scene. Of course, the special edition of Empire Strikes Back has an even more graphic version, with the Wampa shown bloody and screaming. A Twitter user responded that it all seemed gratuitous. Heck, it was even in the book. Luke used the Force to sense the Wampa's mind. Hamill replied, My acting was much better in the book. This isn't the first time Luke's battle with the Wampa has made headlines, as a deleted scene from Empire Strikes Back seemed to suggest the fight was added to explain the facial scars Hamill suffered in a 1977 car accident. The back is growing real well. The scars ought to be gone in a day or so. We'll find out how Luke feels about a whole new batch of creatures when Star Wars The Last Jedi hits theaters on December 15th. Hopefully, he's kinder to Porgs than Chewbacca is. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.